Hi guys. All right, it's another tutorial Tuesday, guys. This is New World Empire Channel. If you're just stopping by for the first time, my name is Vera Sachs, and of course, with me in the studio today is More Sachs. And guys, guess what? We have two guests in our studio today, and um, yes, I want to shock you today. It's a new year, so I want to surprise you guys. All right, guys, uh, we have Success Sacks in the house today, and we also have Steve Sacks. But before Steve Sacks comes up, we're going to be hearing some things from Success Sacks. She's just nine years old, and guess what? She's doing so well. All right, guys, mm, let's welcome Success Sacks. Enjoyed the tune, I enjoyed the tone. I just enjoyed everything. Yeah. That was great. Even Christos is smiling. Yes. Enjoying, you know, <laughs> the tune. All right. So how old are you, um, Toxic Sax? Nine years old. Nine? I don't be wow, you mean nine years old? Now do your mic like this. Do your sax like this so that if I wanted to talk, you talk. Yes. So you said they didn't hear you. Um, how old are you right now? Nine years old. Wow, that is wonderful and you played so well that's great that's great all right so you've been learning sax for a while now yes for a while and uh, i think we've met just a couple of months now yes and um she's she's guys is really doing great i want that to just be an inspiration to someone out there she came up in our um only someone worship all nation one worship apostle come and take this boy out just i will have a way of working on that take him out all right sorry for that disturbance just take him out okay so she was in a all nation i mean out out he should not say anything yes out get out all right so all the show I worship, he, she was featured, and that was great. Uh, if you have not watched that video, just go right now and watch her video. And she's going to be coming up in this channel many times, and she's going to be inspiring you. Now, I know there are parents out there. I want you to know that the parents of Success Sacks is the reason behind her success. Yes, because the parents are really, you know, very strong in in um, keeping her, you know, in that, in this vision, they are supporting her. They registered her with us, and then it has been great. I want to introduce um, the mom who is here, representing the family, the brothers and the sisters, they are here. All right, I want you to welcome um, the mother of Success Sacks. Okay, they're here right now. 
Okay, so I want parents out there to take this as a challenge, train up a child in the way he should go. When she is grown up, she will not depart from me. I don't think this, uh, success is ever going to depart from that. All right, so I want to use success as a, you know, as something to challenge you guys. This is 2021, and we're here to share with you our vision for 2021. Now, what's our vision for 2021? The vision for 2021 is to raise unto God or unto, you know, this our generation, 2,000 saxophonists. Whoa. Put your hands together for that vision. That is our vision. Our vision this year is to raise 2,000 saxophonists. And then that is so massive. Therefore, we are coming up with several programs, workshops, you know, extra, extra. We're going extra mile. I'm not talking of the saxophonists we know that are just following us on YouTube. Of course, we are 4,000 subscribers just last year and uh, two years ago, to, like that. So in two years, we're able to raise 2,000 and 4,000 subscribers. I'm talking of 2,000 students that we know that we can always showcase. And then in this class, I brought one of my students who was the first, one of the first students that we raised then when the music school first started in Zaria. His name is Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs is coming right now. And then, no, let him come later. Well, Steve Sachs is still going to, he's in the house and he's going to come later to, to just say a word because I want you to really be challenged. This year is 2021. We're just starting early now. It's not too late. If, it were, if this was coming to you by November now, you would say, okay, I think nothing, but it's still fresh. So we're bringing the vision. 2000 saxophonist training under us this year. Either you are on Skype one-on-one -on -one with us or you are on Zoom, which we just brought out now. Uh, Michelle, can you have that Zoom? Just put your camera four. Yeah, that's it. Michelle, okay, it's there now. So that is Zoom. Uh, the full detail, you will see it along as we go. So I'm going to show you the full details. All right, so we are ready to kick off the year with the vision, 2,000 students on the saxophone. Register, I mean 2,000 registered students, the ones we can monitor, the ones we can bring up, the ones we can follow up. No, they are not just following us. We are the ones following them up and making sure that they achieve. At the end of the year, we're able to come up with 2,000 guys who is, either, you know, who we can really say God has brought away and we have channeled and we have guided through the year to be able to perfect their sack. Either they are with us on the beginner's class, beginner's course, the intermediate course, and the advanced course. Now, what is the, inter the, media, um, the beginner's class? We're going to show you in this class. Then, what do we mean by the intermediate and what do we mean by the advanced? You need to know whether you are a beginner saxophonist or you are an intermediate saxophonist or you are the advanced student of the saxophone. So there are many of you who want to register for the Zoom. for Zoom or for Skype or for whatever you are going to, you know, see, you know, have understand where you should be registered. Either you should be registered in the uh, beginner or the intermediate or the advanced class. All right. So success so is here. I want her to put us through what we mean by the the beginners class. Now, what we take in be beginners class, um, ju that's just to say that this class is about sharing with you the syllabus. The syllabus is what I want to quickly share for you. So if you're registered with us, when we want to raise 2,000 saxophonies, what do we have in mind for them? Number one, we want to put them through the um, introduction to the saxophone. For example, uh, successor, show me the neck of the sax. That is the neck of the sax. Show me the body of the sax. That's the body and that's the bell. Is that okay? All right. So now on the saxophone, she should be able to show me the keys of the saxophone. Now show me your key, your key C on the saxophone. Just point it. Point it. She's right. Where is your key B on the saxophone? She's right. Where is your B flat side? Side B flat. Side B flat. Yes, you are right side that's yeah that's b flat auxiliary b flat and this is the side 
B flat. Now she's able to know that where is the B flat, the low B flat, the low B flat, low B flat, lowest B flat, low, low, the one you used to play when low B flat. Look at it. This guy. So we want to, we, we've had a lot of saxophonists who just jump into play, who never went through the beginner's class. You need to go through the beginner's class so that you begin to identify. We don't jump, you know, we take our time here to make sure that things are well organized. So she needs to know all the parts of the sax, including all the keys. Even the keys she's not playing. As a beginner, you need to know. Where is your auxiliary F sharp? Where is your auxiliary, you know, auxiliary E? Where you need to know all this. Thing. Where are the alternative fingering charts? You have the F sharp. Where is the alternative F sharp? You have F sharp, and then you have the alternate F sharp. You know, that's just how it is. So I want you guys to understand this um these classes. So you need to know. Everything, parts of the sounds of where is your read? This read, where is the ligature? Where is all these things? So I want you guys to go through that. Now, after that, we take you through the after knowing the parts of the key, we take you through key C. Of course, we have the theory where you need to know how to arrange the keys yourself. From chromatic scale, you get the, the diatonic scale, and then and so on and so forth. So you have all of that. So that is just how we are going to be going this year. So after that, we're going to take you through key C. You need to learn key C. Do re mi fa so la ti do do di la do fa mi re do. Then we begin to take. Can you play that for me? Key C right now. <laughs> So that she's able to permutate all these um, scales. Now permutate for me. Three, three, two, two, anyone. <laughs> She did that on two octaves. So if she's able to do that, that means, you know, and there are other permutations. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, fa, la, so, ti, la, do, do, la, ti, so, la, fa, so, mi, fa, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, fa, re, mi, fa, so, mi, fa, so, la, fa, so, la, ti, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, ti, la, so, fa, la, so, fa, mi, so, fa, mi, re, fa, mi, re, do. After that, we take you through the pentatonic scale. Now, give me the pentatonic. Now that is the pentatonic scale. Do re do re mi so la do re mi so la do do la so mi re do la so mi re do. That is the two octave scale uh, of the pentatonic. Of course, I will not expect her to begin to permutate do re mi re mi so mi so la so la do la do re do re mi re mi so mi so la and so on and so forth. Can you permute that for us if you can? <laughs> That is very perfect. So yeah. she has gone through this uh, beginner's class. I noticed that you are struggling with your sax. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know, actually, she, her sax fell off and um, uh, we had to give her another sax to play right now. So yeah. I'm sure that's why. I also noticed that um, her, read. Read, her read is very, it's not really, do I have any other read that I can give to her? Um, on the spot, her read is not too strong for 
for you to get those low notes. If there's a read, we can quickly change it so that um, the read is, let me show people what I mean by your read is the challenge here. I don't think it's a sax because this is a new sax. I just discovered that it's your read. All right, I don't know if they can see this. Let me share, put it on camera one. If you can see this, you will see that this is not the kind of read. Where am I? <laughs> not sharp. Okay, don't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cancer. So, for the fax, this is not acceptable. Don't use this kind of read ever. So, these are the kind of things we do for students. We guide them through their challenges and then we show them what to do. If you find yourself struggling as a teacher, just know ah, she's struggling. This is not her. So, if we are able to. When she first came, we discovered that her sax, she was trying to get the loan. She was not getting it. And we discovered that her sax fell off. And I was able to identify the E-flat note that was not closing very well. And it was, I, I can't fix it right now. That's why we had to give her another sax. Because I had to settle down and fix it. If not, I get because it, there, has, there is a bend. And then it has, it, you know, it went. Um, there's a depression on that part. I need to use something to try and bring it up and fix it. So don't allow your sacks to fall off. We've always advised our students, don't let that happen. Of course, if a class, every, every, every opportunity I have to teach you something, I take advantage of it and I teach you. All right. OK, so there's a read here. Hey, hey, success as you have this kind of read. So it's not your mom. It's not your parent. The parent bought her a lot of read. Look at it. Find it, new ones. There are many. Look at it over there. Plenty of them. It is success sacks. <laughs> that decided that this is the one she's going to be using instead of using news. Look at the read, plenty of them. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the read the mom got. Plenty of them. Good parents. Look at it. Plenty of them. So, so it says, what happened? You have a new read and you're still using this kind of read. I did not teach you. I taught you. So you just decided that you will not be. You, and <laughs> if you ever bring this kind of read to my class, <laughs> guys, I will, you know, you know that I, I don't play with my students. All right. Thank you, mommy. For giving us uh, all that we need. Look at it, good reads. So, Professor Sachs is going to um, play again. Eh, I don't expect it to struggle. The read is too bad, so much that even me, I don't think I'll be able to use that read. You even try to make sound with that. Okay, viewers. Oh, we already have comments. Maybe let me set it. Let me check comments. Okay. All right, guys, viewers out there, thank you for joining us. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Somebody said you want to see, want to see Christos play the saxophone. Ha. Don't worry, Christos <laughs> is going to play the saxophone. Quite very soon, Except very, very soon. Here. What he's playing now is bamboo and um, there's this, um, there's this, there's this trumpet rubber that he carries around and he does, and then over time he does him doing. <laughs> this is this he's doing, but of interest to him majorly now is the drums. I don't know why, but if he does this anything drums, Christos is there. All right, so success. People are greeting you. Online and uh, beautiful um, success sacks, they love you. Okay, so let's continue our vision. Someone said that's a great vision. We are going to make sure that this vision comes to pass. We're going to double up our classes, double up to try as much as possible not to miss a tutorial Tuesday. You know, connect with many of you. Open WhatsApp groups for our for our course. Uh, you know, for our courses. Send links to a lot of people. We're going to be working. All right, successors, are you ready for me? Now play pentatonic again. <laughs> Can you see that? She's not struggling. Now make sure it's wet. Use your, use your wet, wet the read, wet your lips. Wet, because it's a new read. You just, you just removed it. Are you? Is it wet now? Yeah. Okay, success is back. So pounded. Um. Pentatoni scale for me. No, 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 no. 
Pentatonic, no far. Continue, start again. <laughs> Success sucks. You know, yeah. she led this um, elementary aspect for a long time. Yeah. And then she has been playing, she has been learning a uh, grace note, feels, and all of that, you know. But I always tell my students make sure permutations is not what you leave behind and say, ah, that's class one. No, permutations is, is forever and ever. So you, every time you pick up the sax, warm up, they are your daily warm up. There are things you do every time you pick up the sax. All right, so other permutations that you can do. Let me see. Just be fast. I want to keep this class as short as possible. Yeah. That's four, four, three, three. Are you jumping? Are you four, four? Let's go. No, that is not. The one she's doing is the exercise. Yeah. Doing the exercise. What I want to do. Do re, we are doing permutation, not the exercise. Four, permutation four. is four four. Do re mi so re mi so la mi so la do so la do. Can you do that one? All right, go ahead. Four four. So la do so la do re la la do la do re mi do re mi so re mi so la mi so la do do la so mi la so mi re. So mi re do, mi mi re do la, re do la do, do la do, la do. So very good. That's how it is. So permutation success. I want to go back to permutations, and I expect it to be a faster than this. When we get to the intermediate class, I will go back as if we are starting all over. That is when I expect her in the intermediate class. That's when I expect her to speed up yeah. what she's doing. Because I want, I was, I, I would not expect her to do. You know, and the metronome enters into intermediate class. It's like intermediate class is like the perfection of what we have introduced in the, you know, in the beginners class. All right, success. Act. I, I also introduce you into the chromatic scale. Is that okay? Which is going to take us into the slurring and the grace notes and the rest. Uh, play. Um, um, chromatic. chromatic scale for me. No, 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 start again. Do, D, not do, T, do, D. Do, D. Uh -huh. Do. down. No, 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 no. You can't jump down. No, no, no. Um, success sax, I was almost calling her Vela sax. <laughs> that is another Vela sax on the way. Vela sax has been playing saxophone now for how many years right now? And then Vela sax has done so much, you know, to get these things. Uh, she's the luckiest because she's always with the teacher. I'm able to, you know, uh, you know. Okay, so that's, but I want to have more students come close through several um, yes. mediums. That we're going to create. We have those that are coming all the way to Abuja to learn this Nigeria. We have those, and we have accommodation for you actually. If you really want to come and learn, just a token of fee you pay, and then just to keep us running. And then we give you accommodation ready, you know, a guest room ready for you. Stay one week, two weeks, and then you learn what you want to learn. That is our vision for the year, and we've got that accommodation ready for you. Okay, I thought someone is going to clap for me right yeah. now, clap for us. 
the new world empire is not about Mossack, it's an organization, a spiritual one for that matter. And then um, God has been helping us. We have a student came down from uh, the USA. We have yes. more students who want to come down from Canada, from South Africa. A lot of them trying to come down, even in Nigeria, those that are not in Abuja. Everything is ready. And then we also want to bring people closer because of the pandemic. We have the Zoom class, which is now far, far more cheaper than the Skype, than the one Skype one. which is one-on-one. -on -one. For those of you that can take advantage of that, join the Christ Like a group. If you register early, I can have you in a group. If you don't register early, once a group is filled up, I send you to the next. Um, this one is the February to April edition of the class, so session. So start registering now, it's so cheap, and so on and so forth. And then the Skype is there one-on-one. -on -one. That one, no, it's not a group. It's just me and you, me and you, and then um, all of that. So this brings you close, and then WhatsApp is there. We can respond to you, and so on and so forth. All right, so... From there, we took her to um, slurring technique. No, we started teaching you how to sing. Of course, in the beginners, now you have to be able to make melodies. Melodies like, okay, give me your songs, and then we give you the solfa notations, and then start playing it. So that's the time you see her playing it as pa 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 no, no vibrato, no, no slurring, no, no grace note, no tongue gain. Everything is just wah like that. So that is the beginner's class. I expect you to be able to play as many songs as you can. Just playing it. Just playing it. It doesn't matter whether you have started ministering on stage with just playing it. As long as vibrato, your tone, the, the technique, basic techniques are not there, I still count you as what? A beginner. If you don't know slurring, you don't know grace note, you don't know vibrato. long tone, vibrato, to, uh, articulation, articulation, which is the tongue in aspect, playing legato, playing staccato, and then basic uh, permutations and um, uh, basic permutations that will you know keep you your fingers exercise that will keep your fingers running very fast, and then a, a bit of strength in playing any songs that come your way, you are still on the beginner class. So register for the beginner's class. And then, many of you are on YouTube, just following us on YouTube. How do you know the class to, to, to listen to next? Mm. Abyss still sucks. We have almost about, uh, about almost 50 classes yeah. on, on YouTube. How do you know the one that, that meets your need at that time? So you need a guide. You need to connect to us. In either, you know, just... Our contacts will be showing on the screen shortly towards the end. Get those contacts. Email is here. Register here and there. This year is 2021. Don't joke with it. Play. There is no excuse to why you cannot fulfill your vision. Why you should remain at that level of saxophone for too long. I've heard people playing sax for 10 years. It doesn't matter. You can be playing for 20 years and you are still a beginner. Yeah. You can be playing for 30 years and you will still be a beginner. Success can be here last Two months and she's playing and she's already in the intermediate class. So it doesn't really matter how long you have been playing. You might even be invited here and there. But what we measure is your your what you are able to do, not how long you have been playing. Yeah. Okay, of course, when I was learning the saxophone, she's he my my one of my friends is here. I started learning saxophone after three years. After three years of playing saxophone. Mm. After three years, mommy, after three years of playing saxophone. That's when I actually started because I was just as at that point I was already ministering with Grace Saxophonist. Grace Saxophonist, like, like um, Jerry Sack. It was in one of those meetings that he was invited. I was also invited. I didn't know anything about throwing Grace Note, all of that tone. I was. It was in that program I held. I think I registered for one of his calls. I said, "Oh yeah, show me." It doesn't matter whether I was playing the saxophone before him. But what matters is that he had more access to information that I did not have access to. And he has to show me. So what? I don't have to be proud, even though I was already everywhere. So three years, Mossack was everywhere in, in, uh, in Zaria at that time. And it was, it was enough. So I had to come down and learn. All right, let's go. Now we took her to slurring. So play slurring for me. Slurring is do ti do re di re mi mommy success demonstrate. 
do. That okay, calm down. beautiful now she has you know that's slurry we begin to give her several slurring exercise that she can do slurring exercise here and there and then we begin to apply it we begin to underline those same songs that she learned when she was in the in the beginners class we begin to underline some notes slur the dominant do me so try and slur them the diminish the t the seventh make sure you slur it and then other dynamics to different in slurring we taught her so i want to play a song and do and play the slurring not grace note don't put grace note play a song any song show you who is behind the keyboard <laughs> somebody is turning this into a worship sense or no if i connect now and start preaching you would you not say musa pastor musa has come again i hope you now see a pastor okay guys all right and that reminds me every sunday last year we were doing these uh, streams of life that was coming every sunday every sunday morning I know a lot of you have been watching us on, yeah. you know, in the other side of our stage. You know, if you check the left side, the right side, we have the stage, not this stage. And then so much has changed. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that at the end ah. because oh. we just transformed everything. Yes. In the spirit of change for the year 2021, a lot of modification to that program is coming up. Versa is going to announce to us. So that uh, a lot of you that are going to be want to find the act a good time where most of our students want to watch from US and the rest, so that they will not be sleeping while we are here in early in the morning doing that program. Okay, so Versax will help us on that. So she has played so well, slurring was there. Now we now took her to Grace Note, where we taught you the remote do The good thing about us is that we don't just show you play this. Everything is like, it's like, it's like science. You are seeing it. I think you don't have to cram it. So it's like, so it's slow the first note and descend on more. Slow the next one, descend. Slow, descend. So this note is like an advance, you know, it's like moving forward from the um, slurry, which some people still categorize slurring as part of grace note. Grace note. So, that, but me, I separate it so that I will have a class. I will be able to teach you. you don't, if I just come and say grace note, you, you will know the difference. So slurring is very important. Grace note is there. So grace note is you slur and you descend. You slur, you descend. So she will go to demonstrate us. All right, let's go. That is grace note. Now do that same song and add grace note inside now. Let's go. Application now.
That is good. Success yeah. sucks. Good. So she's able to add, look at the way she differentiated it. She's able to play only snoring. She's able to add grace notes. That is class. That's how to teach the saxophone. You make sure that your students, it's like a step by step. It's not like one of these pool of water that you throw them <laughs> inside and they are swimming anywhere they want to swim. That's discipline. If I see her practicing, I know exactly what she's practicing. She's not supposed to just practice, just see somebody just play one skate now and just carry it and start calling it for the next five days. That's what many people do. They just see a saxophone, they just play something now. They can score it for 10 days rather than concentrating on those simple permutations, grace notes, those simple, simple things that they, ha they are leaving behind. And that's where their tone comes from. Okay, uh, Success Axe has been on grace note now. She has been learning so many. Things. And then after grace note, I noticed that she was doing well. I now to introduce her into some deeper aspect of scales where I brought out some fields, some leaks that I expect her to begin to practice before we move her into the intermediate class. So right now she's about to graduate into the intermediate class where we're going to be really, really drilling her on some of these things, metronome, you know, um, uh, speed, accuracy of what she has learned, and then we begin to introduce her into so many other things. Let me have your phone. I have the syllabus there for the intermediate and the advanced, so that I'll just read it for you. I'll just read it for them, and then, um, okay. So for the intermediate class that she's about to go into, I introduce you into some uh, leaks. Can you, do you, you should remember, tongue eh? Tonguing and the rest. So those are the techniques that, okay, do tonguing. Tap, 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 stop. Do the double now. Tuku, 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 tuku. Now do the uh, triple now. Tuku, tu, 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 tuku, tu. These are the things we do. And then how to apply it now. Where you have, where some of you want to do praise songs, fast songs, even worship songs. We give you glory, Lord. Do, do. do you see that? Do, do, do. Now, do play that song. Of course, slurring is, is, is able to help you differentiate two notes. One other note that helps you distinct two notes that are close together, the same note, is tongue. And then if you, be, if you begin to play that song, now you see that. She has started applying it on some of those songs that she is doing. All right, so we did vibrato. I want to hear vibrato in that song now. Vibrato is just an introduction in the beginner's class. So let's go now. I play it high. Okay, now. Play this song, the song you, you played before you be, when you came in. We give eh, open the floodgate. How do you hear a vibrato? No, demonstrate vibrato first. What's vibrato? Play your G. I play. Ha, 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 ha. Hi, hi. Of course. What we've done for her is just to introduce her into the, uh, the vibrato. Now, it is in the intermediate class. You're going, to, you're going to hear vibrato. When you hear her playing next, you begin to hear. Ah, we give you. If Versace is to play now, you see that vibrato will make so much difference as far as. Um, okay, let me just show you. Okay, which key, okay, um, you're on C, right? Let me try and play that same C. I hope the sax is in the right order, but. No, no, no.
Yeah, just pick up the sax. So just hold this for me. That's, that's okay. So vibrato. You see where other things come in. I'm not just playing the song. You are wonderful. There are so many things to add. Fuse can be added to that song. Can I have a strap? If I'm struggling without a strap. Okay. Here we go, guys. So she was playing there. We give you glory, Lord. Sorry guys, I'm going to teach you why this is making that noise. I just discovered that my tenor read, my tenor ligature is no longer holding the read in place very strongly. So it's either I change the ligature or I change the mouthpiece or I find a way to make sure that when I tighten it, it's holding my read. If I check in and look at my read, it's shaking. It's not holding it. It's a new read. And then, so I discovered that. So those are some of the things that come your way. So I'm going to fix that. It's nothing. All right. <laughs> Intermediate class, success is no longer going to be playing this song very straight. We give you glory all through. And no, 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 no. Fields will begin to come in, scale permutation will begin to come in, some passing notes will begin to come in, you know, advanced grace notes will come in. So many things will begin to come in in that same song. <laughs> you begin to learn them and put it in your solo. All right, so when we now get to, where's the phone? Let me just, so for the sake of time, I'll just read out. I will not be able to demonstrate each, um, I will not be able to demonstrate everything right now, but I can just show you the intermediate class. So all right, so let me just read it and then we'll start to end this class. Hmm? Okay, Steve starts see coming up. All right. Perfect in slurring. Um, when we get after the, the intermediate class, we're going to perfect slurring. We're going to perfect grace notes. We're going to perfect vibrato. Number two, we're going to learn major keys. Now, maybe she's playing only key C. She's, she has to be able to play other keys like D, E, F, G, A, B and transform all and transfer all that she has learned on key C into those keys in the intermediate class. And then intermediate, intermediate class, we're going to introduce her into the introduction to improvisation, where leaks, feels, some scales, begin to add it into her song little by little here and there. Then we'll introduce her into the passing note, leaks, scales in details, you know, basic scales in details, not the common scale, those, <laughs> those kind of free jams. No, those normal ones. Don't go and start with that one. You don't hear Gerard Bright, and you just going to carry it and you kill yourself. <laughs> when you are not, you know, just take things easy for yourself. Oh if you God. have a teacher, that's where it's important. You'll be guided. Or to, and you discover that what you are learning for three years, you can actually learn it in a year. Mm. Yes. Application of skills will come in. Part splitting, she's able to start playing the song. The song she already knows, we will teach her in parts. And then she'll begin to use how to switch parts in, as part of soloing. All right, so then we now begin to do uh, application of scale leaks and technique in soloing. We begin to introduce her into basic soloing, not just soloing a song, but soloing over chord changes and the rest. And then that now takes her to the advanced class where jazz improvisation and articulation in details. We teach you details about chord and how, what scales enter each chord. Where we talk about notes of a chord, you begin to pick them, arpeggio comes in, 
modes coming. That's the other side of scale. Modes are we have minor mode, we have Dorian, we have Frigian, we have Lydia, we have so many of them mixed Lydia. We're gonna introduce that and each we're gonna give you examples of songs or score changes that that fit into each mode so that you can change modes and then people begin to they just add some you know some kind of dissonance to your you know your play and then just make things so beautiful especially when you're going deeper into the jazz um jazz music all right then advanced text sax technique will be taught in the advanced not in the intermediate class where we teach you circular breathing i can't just hold an answer to you circular breathing for why when we see have a lot of basic things of course you cannot be playing circular breathing every time so we focus first on the things that makes up her tone and her, her dexterity her strength her you know her, her her perfection and then her speed before we talk on to that now we now talk about the sax fall bended notes one of my students who barely know anything about permutation and slurring called me one day he says can you teach me sax fall <laughs> I say, wait, um, play something, let me hear. As his player, I say, no, 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 you don't need that. You don't even know chromatic scale, you want to do SAS4. SAS4 that is like chromatic plus everything, you run it as fast as you can. You need speed to do that. So we'll have used intermediate class to work on your speed before taking you to that kind of technique. If not, you just hook yourself with one technique and get discouraged. Depression sets in, I'm not getting. That's because you're practicing the wrong thing. Okay, so guys, this year, 2,000 saxophonists will be raised. Perfect ones. So, sax overtone that takes us to altissimo, growling, and then advanced sax leaks. There are sax leaks that takes you mod modal kind of sax leaks that, you know, B-pop scale era. You know where we begin to talk about big pop scale? Where you are using it, a chromatic to mix up with even the scales that you already know. We can teach you all of that, but... There are steps. Chromatic B-pop improvisation and then stage practicals, etc. etc. Then we now touch your difficult keys where we begin to talk about your alternative fingering chart, key C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. What are the alternative fingering charts that I have learned over the years that we're going to teach you so that you know I got that from us, Udwin.com. They have some a it's like a whole book on alternative fingering chart, and I, I I really took time that time. But it's like a whole book that you will really know where, where it matters. But I can just pick you areas that I feel is so important. All right. So I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. After that, so many other things. So many of you will be invited. Some of my students will be invited to the studio to produce a track, especially those that register with us on the advance. And then we we'll produce a track, features, feature in our programs, take you out, shoot some videos for you, and so many other advantages that the Empire has in stock for our students. All right, Vera Sachs is waving at me that my time is up and that I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay, so guys, I don't want to talk too much. Oh. Let Vera Sachs. Okay, before we go, let's Steve Sachs yeah. come up right now and do something for us. Yep. yep okay. Yep, 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 yep. Steve Sachs just came around and I got a hold of him. That. Okay, put it off for the uh, success Sachs as he take her seat. Success sacks. Go with your mouthpiece and your and your sack. Okay, leave this. Just leave this. Where is the okay? Put your hands together for success sacks. Yeah. That was a great one out there. And then um just before she leaves, uh success sacks is graduating into the intermediate. intermediate. So can we put your hands together for successful graduation from the beginners class? Woo. Let us go there, hooray! Golden brother, Vuzza. That is the golden brother. It's okay. For, I'm going to see the golden color. You know, that's where we got the golden color now. Yeah, Success sacks. Congratulations for your successful, you know, passing through the beginner's class. She's going to be, All right. I'm going to be faced with her now with the intermediate, intermediate class. All right, so um, Steve Sachs is here. Steve Sachs, come up first. Let me show you. Let me introduce you. This is Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs is. Okay. Michelle, leave that to the time. Okay. Are we okay? Yeah. 
Steve Sachs is here. Give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Steve Sachs? Hi. Let me tell you something about Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs is my first student, one of my first students, the first set of students to register in Mossack's Wood, Woodwind uh, School. <laughs> it was not even music school then. Yeah. It wow. was Woodwind yeah. School. Wow. We're just, what we were just doing that time was Woodwind. Wood, trumpets, 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 and clarinet. clarinet and the rest. So he was one of the first. That time we were not in a building where AC is blowing <laughs> up. We were outside and under a tree, tree in Amadou Bello University's area <laughs> in one of the trees, you know, in the chapel, chapel of redemption. And then this young man registered and it was started there. A lot of them then, just about, I think I had about five of them then, and the others, keyboard, sax, you know, I mean, um, trumpet, clarinet, and then flute and the rest. Okay, so Sax, you're welcome. So that's to tell you, yes, that's almost about, that should be about, 13 years. Whoa. 13 years is not a joke. Whoa, wow. Guys. 13 years. Yes, 13, 13 years. You mean I've been teaching the saxophone? Yeah. Oh, if somebody <laughs> asks me now, how long have you been playing saxophone? I'll tell you the year. <laughs> and then I started playing saxophone from 2002. That's how many years from now? Yay, hey, 2002. 2002. That's, um, That's about 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. So, and then I started teaching the saxophone. 2008. How many years is that? 13. 13. So I was five years before I started teaching saxophone. <laughs> okay, good, good. So I know my biography now. <laughs> All right. Steve Sax is here. Play you. something. That means you have been playing the saxophone for yes, 13 years. years. Yeah. Wow, 13 years? Woo! What we expect from Guys. you. Uh, you <laughs> and then after she graduated, he has just been following me online and so on. I've not seen him from since that time. And then I just he just called me and said, wow. I'm back. He studied abroad for his master's, and then he's back to Nigeria. And then he want to just be. Um, he said, "I saw what you are doing. Now that I'm in Nigeria, can I pay a visit?" I said, "Why not? Let's go." So, play something for. Yeah. I hope the microphone is on. It's on. Okay, just play. Yes. <laughs> Aya, aya, hell. Aya, ya. Can you show his face? Me mix it with his face. Don't just mix a uh, <laughs> saxophone. <laughs> Ah, 
Aha. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, when we talk about advanced class, this is an advanced student. <laughs> Why do I call an adva him an advanced student? Now, he used... Not, what he's doing is not magic. <laughs> I can explain everything you are doing. Yes. This is what we call... He, what, let me just go to what he's doing that is not in the intermediate and in the... I'll just tell you about what he's doing. How many of you heard Otisimo? Yeah. Yes. Damn. How many of you heard um, Overtone? Overtone, yeah. <laughs> That's overtone. He yeah. did it. Yeah. That's an overtone. He used that. How many of you heard minor? Those are minors. Yeah. And then, what other mode did you go? So many modes that this boy, young man, was just going over them. He's not just playing anyhow. <laughs> don't, don't. There are more free jam, Lydian, Mixo Lydian. He's there. He's there. Now, another thing I noticed was dynamics. Sometimes he's loud, sometimes he's soft. Sometimes, you know. And so if I give him time now, I'm sure you're going to circular breathing, you're going to growling and so on and so forth. This is an advanced student I'm very proud of. This is the kind of student I'm proud of. Yeah. Yes. Put your hands together for Steve Sachs. That was great. That was great. Of course, he didn't just feed from me alone. This is a combination. After the baby graduation that we did, I think we were able to take him through all that we needed to do, and then he traveled. Now, he's able to see, you know, pick things from, you have so many other people he's following, you can hear from, he had that right, you know, leaks. He's, he has gone walk beyond even the teacher, you know. If I could say now that, I, I, you know, see the way he's playing, almost, <laughs> you know, yeah. as if as he start uh, asking myself questions. But you know, everything is well articulated. That is my point. Well, meaningful. You, you know exactly what you are doing. And that's what these have done. So what do you have to say to our viewers out there who are going to be joining us on every platform that we have? I'll use this, right? Yes, yes. Okay, first of all, I want to You can now set God. it on him now. I want to thank God for this privilege, for this opportunity to be here. Like you said, it's been long. It's been so many years since I saw you last, and I'm so happy. I'm filled with joy to be here today to see you and your <laughs> lovely wife. <laughs> and Christos, I am so, so happy to be here. I thank God for this opportunity. And I want to also thank you especially for all you did for me back then in Zaria. Apart from being a saxophone tutor to me, you were a senior brother, you were a father, you were a mentor, you were a lot of things then in Zaria in ABU to me. Thank you so much for the opportunity to work with you, because then the truth is you were already a celebrity in, in Kaduna State, not yes. just in Zaria. Yes. But you know, you gave me that opportunity to work with you, yes. apart from the other students. You know, you know, what he was doing that time was that he was carrying my saxophone yes. here and there. Yes. Everywhere I went to a minister, he yes. carries the sax, yes. made sure that he's there. Most likely yes. I even sent him ahead of the venue. Yes. Thank you, you know, great, yes. great, great, wow. great. You gave me the opportunity you to your house. Every and I will not I forget, there are times I did not have transfer money that you will be the one to give me transfer money, you know, <laughs> because, you know, different backgrounds, yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for that opportunity. Then to the viewers out there watching, I want to say, if you have any passion for music, you have any passion for it, any instrument you want to learn, go for it. Go for it. There's no yeah. time. The year is still new. We're just in January. But yeah, today is 12th already. The month is going. The, the year is going. Before you know it, we're in December. So yeah. make use of your time. Start now. And I want to tell you that if you, if you are looking for a tutor, you are looking for a place you can actually learn music and grow and do very well, I can boldly recommend um, this place for you, New World Empire. Empire. I will recommend it 100 times for you 
I can promise you, I can assure you that you are in the right hand, you are in safe hands. Mm. Because from personal experience, everything you taught me back then, when I went out, when I left you, I met a lot of other saxophone players, good, advanced ones. But the truth is, there was nothing new to me. Yes. Mm. Because yes. you gave me that solid foundation. There was nothing new. There could be some things I was not doing, but it was not new because mm. there was virtually nothing. I Everything has been. The foundation I, was. Yes, was the strong. foundation was strong. It was solid. So I, I want to employ you. If you know you're out there, you want to learn any instruments, just rush. No time. Just no rush. Time. Rush down. <laughs> register and get started. Fire down immediately. Thank you so much. Thank you. This Sarah. is 2021, and I'm yeah, telling you. Enjoy. This young man has been playing saxophone now for a while now, and um, he has traveled with this saxophone. Now, let me tell you something. When you were learning saxophone that time, most likely his friend wasn't even... Just the time his friend came and took him away so that <laughs> I won't turn him to a saxophone instead of uh, a biochemist. Abby? Yes, at that time, yes. Yes. So, but, you know, presently now saxophone has taken him, you know, he has wow. connected him to people, yeah. places he would never have entered. He has <laughs> entered... How do you feel when people start what you thought was a hobby mm. became what people are really blessed with? You are yeah. blessed, you are playing, people are blessed. Mm -hmm. You know? And then, you know, you have made put smile in people's face, you know? Yes. But, you know, it's, it's, it's worth it, isn't it? It's worth it. How much did you pay that time? That time money yes, was money. That time, that time I paid, if I can remember, I paid 7,000. Seven thousand. That time, seven thousand. Now it's and that seven thousand was for you know there were different categories. Yes, was for the if, when you started, if it was you want, there was there was this uh, two thousand category. Yes, there was the when you, you now to get to one on one. The, the, hey, I, his own. Yes, I, I wanted the best. He, so his I, own was one on one. Yes, yes so I paid. For, I, I yes, paid seven thousand. The the general class was two thousand. Yes, he he said I'm going for one on one. Yes. So there the, the were three there, uh, two of yes. them. Yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? Mayaki. Uh, Shedrak. Shedrak. The guy now is doing great in Abuja here. Yes, yes. I can't. I, 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 Mayaki, that's the other name I remember. Yeah. No? Two of them said no. We don't want to join the crowd. Yeah. So that it's one on one. That's how I could yeah. identify them. You know, I said, this one. <laughs> because in the crowd, you know, I could. I can't. I, yeah. I don't remember Steve now. This one was one on one. And so on and so forth. All right, guys. And then let me just say also, I, we paid for, I think, two months or three months course that time. Mm. But you took me. In fact, Beyond. I became a son. He beca after two months, after he two months, it's like a lifetime. <laughs> until now, we are still until now. I'm yes. still, I'm still your your son. Yes, I'm your student. Yes, yes, yes. Your boy. yes. <laughs> so thank you, sir. Wow, Steve wow. Sams has. This is a big challenge to uh, viewers out there. Please, it's not about me. It's not money I'm looking for. No, not at all. It's not money. Not all. <laughs> you know, it's like. When I say register, pay something. It's not as if somebody is looking for money. It's because I want to be, I want to help you achieve what you want to achieve. I can just be here playing and playing, going up and down, yeah. and then I'm fine. I'm fine. I had a job. I'm okay. I'm fine. But resign that job not because I was the job was not good, but I needed to serve most of you out there, and then uh, be there for you. So the gadgets are here. See, I, I, can you see the? So much that God has blessed us with. We have a studio. We have, we are into multimedia. You know, shooting of music video. Like last week, every weekend we shoot music videos in Abuja. Yeah. Here. So we are well equipped for. If I now say I want to go for Zoom or I want to go for Skype, is it camera? Is it the internet? Is it the switcher? I can have four cameras teaching a student out there if I want. So it's 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 at the profe height of professionalism. That, that's why I have students coming all over from USA they, because they see that the is now. And to take us further, we presently have. Um, let me hold this. Let me just show them now Ab about our studio. I know the studio has been transformed. How many of you can see the design we did? Guys, can you see this? All right. Oh. Uh, to, to video it very well. Though. Okay, now. Michelle, you see it? This is one know? side of the this studio. This is the right side. Yes, I'm talking. This is the right side. Now we are entering the main stage. This, this is, is the stage. Mm. This is the stage. Wow. 
This work has been on for over one week now. It hasn't been easy, but okay, we, we have, have to do this. Before, what's different bef before and after? Yeah, we want to hear from you guys. Tell us before and after. Before and after. after. Now that is which um, is better? Which material <laughs> is that? Is that cutting? What was? What All right. You be making this? this is wool, baby wool. Baby wool material. It's like I was, um, I was literally weaving it. Yeah. Um, weaving it one after the other. It's called string art. Help me mention it. Yes. Okay, it's called string art. This is string art browsing. Yeah. String art stage design, and we did that. Look at that. This is the left side, the left side of, the of the studio. Stage, of the stage. Look at that. So this stage, this side is the same thing as this side. Yeah. This is the way. And then you see some. Look at this changing light. Depending on the light that flies on it. Look at this little changing light and so on and so forth. Wow. So that is what we have. Then we have the screen there. This is a screen. This is um, where we're going to project these pictures. That's a, uh, a TV there. Another TV is going to be on the other side of the studio. And then every other instrument fo that follows on the other side. Give me the stick. Uh -huh. This is the other side work of the studio. Workstations. The workstation where you have the gadgets, sorry. Editing systems. Editing system. Where we're doing live stream, this is. What we use, that's another system up there, it's off right now, and so on and so forth. So that's uh, Michelle mixing behind the, who is uh, <laughs> doing the camera switch and giving you a very good mix. Michelle, say hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> All right, so a closer look on the design. This is how it is, if you want to see that. I think I should start teaching you some of this. Wow. Yeah. You see? Look at the light planted under there, flashing towards this way. And then look at another light there, who is flashing down. And then this other one flashing down. This one flashing up to reflect the board. And so on. And you know, you know, that's just how it is. There's another light. On the other side, yeah. flashing up. So the wool is along the light rays. Yeah. They are just giving you an illusion of a light. Uh, 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 uh. I just studied this in, in two weeks online. Uh, it's called String Art, and I came and I did it myself. Put your hands together. Woo! <laughs> at the way it was weaved. Can I have that? Take a look at this red. Let me have your comment whether I like it. If it's nice, if it's good. All right. Okay, I'm back. Right. So <laughs> let me know what you think about this new design. Took me three days. Hmm? Three days. That's three days, active three days. Okay, okay. Apart from the days I took rest, you know. I went for shooting, some other days, some other days. Um, three days actively. Other days I just came and did half because I was coming back from a shoot. Sometimes I take some of these panels home and weave it overnight to save my time. So great work, but thank God I was able to finish. And then uh, it was made from this. This is the wool. We take this and then we get it. I think every Wednesday I want to come up with another course call about talking about media. This year I'm I'm trusting God to be able to launch that part. A lot of guys want to set up studio. Yeah. We have a studio. What equipment should you buy? You want to go into videography, you want to go into photography. You want to be able to do some of this kind of stage designings. Just sat. This design cost me just ten thousand naira. That's how cheap it can be. Wow. If we to buy it. And then in behind each of these panels, there is a, a, a foam, an acoustic foam 
that is behind. So it's not only a design, it's also acting as an acoustic panel. So, the, so it's like putting too many ideas together. Where I saw this, they didn't put foam behind because they were using it just on the stage. But this will now be, you know, something to really look at. This is, if you look at it closely, I don't know if they can see it. You're going to see foam behind. Look at that, um, an acoustic foam on that uh, panel. All right. Uh, let me leave it as because so much coming your way this year. All right. As God will help us. So much to teach you guys. So many creative, small, small things that. Then Verasax is there with her makeup. She's going to be bringing some <laughs> beauty tips. Just to spice on. And then the other topics that are going to be bringing up this year topics like relationship talk, vlogs, you know, chat, chit chat, and so many things that is going to be coming your way. This year, Versax, over to you. I think. All right, guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of the class. All right, guys, please, if you're just stopping by for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. It's very important to us. It's very important. It's encouraging. Um, like, comment, tell us what you want uh, next in our class. All right, guys, please. If you know you're interested in our Zoom classes, register. Register now. We are starting February. February 1st, the class kickoff. And then um, for those of you that are interested in Skype, Skype is one on one. Of course, that one is different from Zoom. And the price is different as well. All right. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I wish you a successful 2021 in your saxophone career all right see you next week tuesday bye